know, it's funny how a movie can change your whole perspective on one word. Like going into this movie, when I heard the name Uzma Kappa, I was like, that is a really stupid name. But now coming out of this movie, I am definitely making a frat in college, and it will be called Uzma Kappa. Just wait, it'll happen. Monsters University. So Monsters University is the prequel to Monsters, Inc. It's set during Mike and Sully's college days, and it shows them becoming friends and overcoming the obstacles that they personally face. Now, I've enjoyed virtually every movie that Pixar has done up to this point. The first 11, I thought, were the best, and then, you know, Cars 2 was subpar, but it was still enjoyable. Brave, I thought, was disappointing, but I still found some fun in it. But I've never lost hope in Pixar. I feel like they can still make a really good movie if they try it. And do they do that in this movie? Yeah, I think they do. Pretty well, actually. Now, is this movie as good as the first Monsters, Inc.? No, it's not. But it's really hard to be as good as a classic like Monsters, Inc. However, this movie was still really funny and really reminded me of why I love Pixar. Now, let's start off with the characters in this movie. The voice talent all around is really good. Of course, you have Billy Crystal and John Goodman back as Mike and Sully. But then there's also a lot of characters who you hear the voice and you're like, wait, I know that voice. Like Alfred Molina's in this movie, Nathan Fillion, Helen Mirren, John Krasinski. Steve Buscemi was also back as Randall Boggs. In this movie, he calls himself Randy. And he, he might have been one of the funnier parts of this movie. I thought he was really good. Now, Mike and Sully, initially, obviously, they don't like each other. Like, you know, Sully, he's kind of like the legacy child. His parents were really good scarers. So he has to live up to that name, but at the same time, he doesn't want to study any of the books. He's like, oh, no, I got the family name. I'm good, you know, Sullivan's. Mike doesn't have that, so he takes all the book knowledge and applies it where he can. But I thought this movie was cool because it addresses that neither one of those sides works on their own. You need both of them to really achieve something. You need experience just as well as you need book smarts. Which is a really good lesson to learn, I'm glad they put that in this movie. Now, the comedy section of this movie, I wasn't entirely sure how well it was going to pan out. Like, I've seen Pixar do funny party shorts before. Any of you guys see Party Soros Rex? That's what I'm talking about. But in this movie, I thought it was really funny. They play off all these little things that you see when people are in college. I thought it was really funny. They were subtle, but they were still really funny. And also, there's plenty of throwbacks to the original Monsters, Inc. movie. Some of them have felt a little forced, but still, you smile because you're like, heh, Monsters, Inc., oh, good movie. Now, at a point, you think this movie's gonna wrap up, and I was sitting there, and I was like, okay, cool, that's a... Pretty cool ending, I like that. But then the movie does something that I wasn't expecting, and then it goes on for another half hour or so, and that's where the movie really, really, really picked up for me. Like, still, I was enjoying this movie, but that last half hour is like the extra mile that Pixar usually goes that was missing from Cars 2 and Brave. And I thought that the movie was also pretty heartfelt. We haven't seen that from Pixar in a little while. I mean, granted, it's not gonna, like, move you to tears or anything, but still, it was, it was really cool to see. Overall, I think the biggest fault with this movie would be the fact that it's a Pixar movie. I mean, that's really all I can say, because Pixar has set the bar so high for themselves, which is why I think people were disappointed with their last couple movies. But if you just go into this movie and expect a, a well-made movie, I think you'll like it. It's not Pixar's best, but I still really enjoyed it. I was originally going to give this movie a B plus, but after thinking about that ending more and more, I gotta say, I'm going to give Monsters University an A-. minus. I know there was a lot of naysayers going into this movie saying that Pixar has kind of lost their touch, they're starting to crack. I walked out of this movie going, yeah, Pixar, you've still got it, and you're still awesome. And just like with Brave, there is a scene after the credits for this movie, so stay after, it's really funny, and I think it's worth waiting till after the credits to check out. So Monsters University, have you seen it? What did you think of it? What do you think of the original Monsters, Inc. 2? You probably think it's awesome, but I'm just wondering, there might be some people out there that don't like it, so it's a fair question. Comment down below, let me know, and thanks for watching this video. If you guys like it, then click here to see more.